In this video, I'm going to show you the best bunch defense in the game right now. This bunch defense will literally pretty much bag any gun bunch in the game. And it's also really good um, as just a general defense. You can pick it up, play it up against pretty much anybody. Uh, this covered shell and this scheme is really good, especially if you use the abilities uh, that I'm going to be recommending in this video. If you want to get my entire uh, dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. We're just dropping a brand new, uh, not brand new, but more expanded upon version of the defense this week in there. So if you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only 10 bucks to become a Patreon member and it'll get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Now, how do I like to play bunch if I'm running dollar? Um, really, man coverage really can bag bunch pretty well. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna auto alignment to base. We're gonna put our zone coverage on match, and then we're gonna come out in dollar. Now, real quick, from an abilities perspective, one of the things I would recommend is if you're wanting to run this type of or style of defense, that you have outside shade on both your outside corners. It's gonna make it really, really difficult for anything that is not tight to beat consistently. And even tight sets are gonna struggle with this because the blitz is that good that I'm about to show you. Now, the other thing that I would really recommend is that you have inside shade on your top safeties, especially if you're playing a man-to-man -man based defense like we're gonna be showing you um, in this. Now, why play man-to-man? -man? Really, the main reason you wanna play man-to-man, -man, it's not because it's the best way to play defense, it's because it is the best way to play defense if you have a really good blitz. If you can blitz and guarantee that you're going to get pretty good pressure, man to man can be really bag for about five uh, or for about one to two seconds, which is all we need. So uh, we're going to be utilizing the play spinner. You have to use a spinner for this specific setup that I'm going to show you in this video, um, but you can you can do this in other variations. So, uh, anyways, spinner, and all we're going to do is as you can see right here, this is what the play art is going to look like. We're going to press, and then we're going to immediately back off that bunch side corner, um, and then we're going to QB contain and slide this guy in until he is on uh, the contain. I don't know why he's being weird. There we go. And then we're going to uh, basically take this linebacker on the left side, and you could either man him up on the tight end, or what you can also do is put him in a hard flat, and then you can cross man the tight end with inside shade so that you have really, really good coverage. And then on this left side, this guy on the left side is actually kind of free. You can either blitz him off of the edge, or you can man him up onto the running back. And what you should see is we're gonna get this nice loop pressure off of the right edge, only sending four people at the quarterback. This blitz right here is the reason why bunch is really hard to run. Now, if you were not base aligned, all you would need to do is spread your D line uh, and then just slide that guy in just slightly. Now you don't even have to cross man, he's already gonna be done. And then you can basically send four or you could send five. What I like to do if I'm sending four is I like to take this left side player and put him in zone um, because what's gonna happen is this will kind of help, you know, I've got the flats covered quick, and then I'm just lurking over the middle of the field. And so what you'll see, again, you're gonna get that loop pressure, and you see how the man coverage can really bag uh, for a second or two, which is all you need. Now, if you're not gonna run this on baseline, one thing I would recommend is backing off the bunch side corner. The reason why is really mainly because of the fact that if they run verticals, now you're gonna have somebody that's gonna be able to jump that quick, and he's gonna be able to stop that. This is the main reason why I like to run this defense if I can on baseline, but it is a little bit of a thing to set it up um, because if I could run this on baseline, then number one, the blitz will be a little bit more consistent. And then number two, when you back off this bunch side corner and they run verticals, this wheel route, um, it, it runs the risk of it intercepted. It's gonna be very difficult for them to hit that quick throw wheel to that side. Um, now, another thing that you have here um with this uh with this style of defense is again the ability to put that linebacker in that hard flat what i would also do is on the bunch side one of the best routes in the game to attack man coverage is the c route we know that um so how can we bag the c route really a couple different ways you can bag the c route but what i like to do is just simply shade outside with outside shade on that player it's going to make it harder um and you got to understand the blitz is coming in hot like right here you see yeah he's kind of open um but also the blitz is getting there right as you are throwing that and the other real nice thing about uh what we have set up here is if you just simply shade him outside and i'll you know zone off this player what you'll see typically with this, and I'll try to set up a little bit of a pass protection, um, 
is this outside shade also is going to have deep route knockout. So if he gets totally creamed like that right there, yeah, that's one example where, okay, you might be giving that up. But again, if you just shade outside, um, you're going to have a decent amount of success. Like they're not going to be able to just force feed that route on you. And then the other thing that I would say is when you shade outside, you can also, um, you know, maybe drop this guy into a third and then, you can play it like that if you wanted to. But really what I like to do is try to play. I try to play this in man coverage uh, because it pretty much bags a lot of the time unless he gets a really, really good press release animation. Uh, but what you'll see here, you see how fast the pressure comes in as well. Now, again, another thing that you can do is just say, OK, well, we're just going to live with the results. We're going to press and we're going to trust our trust our uh, press animation. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if we just press, we don't shade, nothing. Uh, here's what this looks like on the left side. So you see right here, you see how I'm getting that beat press animation? That's not 100% consistent. And really, um, like in a baseline scenario, you'll see now if you look to him over there on the left side, he has outside leverage. Uh, the reason this is important, I'm going to max pro just to try to give me a second here is you see here again, if I don't get a press on that C route, that's where I run into problems. So, you know, really it's all about how can we get, um, you know, how can we get a press animation over on the C route? One little trick, you can uh, shade him inside um, as well. And I'll show that real quick, but you could try different shading techniques is all I'm trying to show. And then also like I said, because you have that hard flat on the right, it's really hard to throw that tight end flat route. So again, that right there you see there the ko potential knockout right there if you really want to slow down the c route guys we know this by now um really the best way to stop a c route in madden 23 is to put an outside third so if you really want to stop the c route you can do this one of the other really cool things about this defense is because we're not is because we unbase align when we want to do it like this the beauty of that this specific setup is now i can man up and bracket him with the slot corner and that slot corner won't move so you'll see right here now this is a complete bag on the c route and there's really i mean i just got to get over the middle of the field and take away the post and that's going to bag the formation. So, and this, and again, double post, obviously not the only play they're going to run, but I mean, let's go over, you know, bunch trail real quick. Again, they're going to have to block and we're only needing, we really only need to send four uh, against bunch to get good pressure. So this allows us to really do some cool stuff over here. If we wanted to, we could even man the, the, the defensive lineman up onto the running back. And if the running back drops into coverage or the, the running back doesn't go in a route, then we're going to have that as well. But anyway, here, what you'll see, the pressure is going to come in super fast. And also you see right there that the outside shades are going to do really good. And then of course the inside shade on the, um, on the, on the corner route. So this is a really, really good systematic defense for bunch. Again, you can run it. You can run it just like this. Like if you wanted to run it baseline press, and then you just did this right here, be my guest. Like you can, you can run the defense just like this right here. And it's still going to be hard for them to beat it consistently. Um, you know, but the problem is it's not going to come in as fast. And that's the big problem because then the C route becomes a little bit more of an issue. So my recommendation would be, you know, you can run an unbase line or you can run it baseline. Just make sure you're moving that guy. But basically I would, un I would come out base line and then unbase line against bunch because it gives me a really nice look just like this right here. And then this can truly just lock down bunch. It's a really good blitz against bunch. It, it's probably the best blitz in the game against bunch and it makes it really difficult to run bunch against this specific style defense. Um, so they're gonna have to run a lot of tight and you're going to make your opponent one dimensional. Thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my entire dollar defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. I'm also dropping some brand new stuff out of it. Um, and, and again, make sure in the Patreon you get access to all the ebooks, all the updates by becoming a member. 10 bucks will get you access to everything. You can head down to the description and go join the Patreon by clicking the link down below.